This Torah class is brought to you by TorahAnytime.com. Okay, we just Rabbi Fishman Shlita. It's a great chutz to be here, Mazel Tov. You know, I feel uh, not just to participate in the sea, and I feel something about it. I feel very connected to it. I can't put my finger on it. You know, I feel like almost it's my own son. You know, but uh, Mazel Tov, Mazel Tov. It's very interesting when we talk about the most important weapon against the Yitzhahara. We know that all the mitzvahs counteract the Yitzhahara, but more than any mitzvah, Torah specifically is the is the antidote to the Yitzhahara. Chazal tells Barasi Yitzhahara, Barasi Torah Tavlin. Torah is the main antidote to the Yitzhahara. Mr. Sisharm talks about sometimes a person thinks, you know, maybe I'll do this mitzvah. I'll get this chus, and this will help me overcome the Yitzhahara. Chazal say, no, only Torah fights the Yitzhahara. But, what's interesting is, even though all Torah undermines the Yitzhahara, nevertheless, if the Yitzhahara can, if he knows you're going to learn, he's going to try his, his best to learn. But don't make a siyam. The Iker weapon against the Yitzhahara is a siyam. Why is that? You know, the name of the Yitzhahara, how do you spell the name of the Yitzhahara? Samach Mem Aleph Lamed. So many Psalms say Samach Mem Aleph Lamed stands for Siyam Mesechta Ein Lasleis. Samach Mem Ein Aleph Lamed. Siyam Mesechta Ein Lasleis. Actually, the Zerah Kodesh writes, if you take the word Mitzrayim, Mitzrayim starts with the regular Mem. It ends with the final Mem, an end of Mem. In between is the word Yitzhahara. Meaning, the Yitzhahara says, Mem, start, Me'im Masai Kerner Shema Ba'aris. Start, start the Masechta, start Shas. But the Yitzhah does everything he can to make sure you never make it to the final Mem of Bashalim. So Yaakov Avinu, he's about to uh, leave Eretz Yisrael. He's about to go to Lavan. Yaakov Avinu has a dream. And what's he doing in his dream? Vayach Elohim, Vayikatz Yaakov, Mishinasai. Because I'll say, Al Tikri Mishinasai, Ela, Mishinasai. He's learning Mishnah. He's learning. And the Yitzhahara just tried to attack him. But Yaakov Inu says, I'm not going to let the Yitzhahara attack me. So what does he see? Sulam. Sulam stands for Siyam Masechta Lasais. Not Siyam Masechta Ein Lasais. Siyam Masechta Lasais. And he makes the Siyam. He says, Achein Yesh. Yesh from the Shayoi Lamais that we talk about at the Siyam. Okay, I want to share with you a few things about Masech Pesaita. Most of them uh, occurred to me today in your zechus. First of all, I saw something very interesting in the Sefer Master Rekeach, <coughs> that the first time the Rebbe Hashem was boitek klal Yisrael as a soita was at Mara. You know, remember at Mara? It says that we, that we drank the bitter waters. Hashem was testing us like a soita. <coughs> Do you remember the halacha? Can a balmum or a balasmum, if the husband's a balmum or the wife is a balasmum, do you drink the soita waters? No. The Gemara says on Chavzayin, the Rambam Paskin. A heckish between the Baal and the Boyal. She'im ha ha Baal Baalmum. O yo yish Baal Asmum, lo yo sha'a. Baal nish, Baal nish, I'm sorry. Yeah? So says Master Ikeach, a Baalmum or Baal Asmum doesn't drink, and the Rambam is being boy dekas like a soita. Mamela at Mara, the Pasuk says, Vayomim shamaya tishma, kol ha machala shasan usan, lo yo asma lecha, Hashem has to be maratas. Because if we're Baal Yimumin, then the soita waters are not going to work. That's one halacha you can remember. Okay. Next. Many Svarim bring, very interestingly, that there's a minog to learn Masech to Saita during Svir. I recently saw a story that it was the second night of Shuvah, the second night of Pesach, and Rabbi Tzvi Hersh Halevi Horowitz turns to his two boys, Shmuel Shmalka and Pinchas, and he says, you know, Shavuos is coming. Which Masech should we learn? So Shmuel Shalga said, Shavuos is coming, Shalom Masech Shavuos. So the father said, you know, I hate to break it to you, Masech Shavuos is not about the Yom Tov of Shavuos. So the father said, what do you mean? Uh, Shmuel Shalga said, you taught us, the Gemara says, that we're Mushba ve'oimed me Har Sinai. We took a Shavuah at Har Sinai to give the Torah. So we have to know the Kayach of a Shavuah. Plus, Masech Shavuos has 49 blot. So what do we see from the story? That since Shavuos has 49 blot, it's dedicated for the Yimei Svira. That's why Rabbi Shmuel Shmuel said we should learn Masech Tashvuas during Svira. 
So then it has to be that Masech the Saita is also dedicated as a hachana for the Yom Tif of Shavuos because it has 49 blah. The only thing is, how... What? 49 is 48. Yeah. Okay. We'll count that please. Chazar, Chazar. Yeah, the the the, the, the Shabbat. That's what's brought. Shavuos and Saita. Even though the Rebbe's saying it's not exact. Okay. Let me see. There's no Mountains. Mountains. Actually, I'm going to tell you something very interesting. Okay. So how is Soita a hachana for Kabbalah Satara? You know, what's the first parsha we lane after Kabbalah Satara? Every year. You know, there are a lot of parshas that could come out some years this way, some years that way. Nasai, you'll always lane right after Shavuos. What's the parsha's Nasai? Inyan of a Soita. Why do we read about the Inyan of a Soita right after Yom of Shavuos? So it's thing like this. The Vashem gave the Torah Kali Yisrael. Was that a successful... Transmission. Rav Hashem gives us the Torah. He gives it to Moshe. Did that work out or did that not work out? It didn't work out. Kali so served the Egel. The Gemara in Gittin says that when Kali so served the Egel, Aluva, Kala, Shezinsa, Tachas Chupasa. Serving the Egel is like a Maishas Nos. It's compared to the act of a Saita. It didn't work out because we were a Saita. So what does Moshe Rabbeinu do? He takes the Egel. He grinds it up, right? He grinds it up. Vayashkes b'nei Yisrael. What does Rashi say? Neskaven leboitgan kesoita. So even though the Rosh tries to give us the Torah, we have to be very careful that we're not nichshal again like a soita. So every year after the Yom Tif of Shavuos, after Kabbalah the Torah, the Rosh reminds us. Last time I tried this on you. Last time I gave you the Torah, you served the Ega. You became a soita. Don't do it again. I'm reminding you. Azhar Chamura. So what's the best possible hachana, the best possible limud as a hachana for Kabbal Satayra? Masechta Saita. It's not just Stam and has 49 blad. The same way Masechta Shvuas has 49 blad as a hachana to know what a Shvuah is because we're Mujba Vami and Harsinai. Masechta Saita has 49 blad as a hachana to make sure the Rav Hashem could give us the Torah but we have to make sure that we don't serve the Ega like we did the first time. I was looking at the end of the Masechta, because it's always a good idea if you're going to speak at a CM. And I see the end of the Masechta ends. Mishamesh Rebbe bat la'anava. Amalei Rebbe Yosef latano, loy tisni anava, di gana. Fine. That's the end of the Gemara. So look at the end of the Mishnayis. The Mishnah ends. It talks about the Ikhvas of the Mashiach. It says, Emes te nederas. There won't be truth. Na'aram Pnei Zekeinu Miyabinu, the young will embarrass the old. Ben Menav Av, Bas Kama Be'ima, Kala Be'chamoysa, Oyevei Ish An Shei Be'isai, Pnei Hadar Kepnei HaKelev. Ve'al Ma Yesh Lanu Le'ishayin, what can we lean on? Al Avinu Shvashmai. There's another Gersa. Ein Lanu Al Mi Le'ishayin, Ela Al Avinu Shvashmai. Is that the end of the Mishnah? It's not the end of the Mishnah. Because you open any Mishnayis, it brings another Mishnah after. It's not in the Gemara, but in the Mishnah, there's another Abraisa. Amar Pinchas Ben Yar, Torah Mavil Adei Zahiras, Zahiras Mavil Adei Zerizas. It's interesting, it's not in the Gemara, but it's in the Mishnah. Why is it in the Mishnah? So the Farshim say, because you have to end off on a good note. And the, the, this Mishnah talks about all the terrible things that will be in the Sada So I was wondering, what do you mean it ends off on a terrible note? It ends off on such a good note. It ends off. So why do we have to add another Mishnah? It ends off on a good note. Did you know Reb Chaim Velazhenar asks on this Mishnah? Reb Chaim Velazhenar asks that the whole Mishnah are all the terrible things that will happen because of the Mashiach. So why does the Mishnah end off on a good note? You know, it, here you're reading that all the terrible things because of the Mashiach and it ends off. Baruch Hashem, we could rely on the Rebbe Hashem. That's anticlimactic, you know. The whole Mishnah is telling you about all the bad things that are going to happen. And ends off, don't worry, everything will be good. Rabbi Hanan quotes Rabbi Chaim Velazhenar. That the biggest klala of all is Ein lanu amil Ella Why is that the biggest klala? 
How's that a klala? It's a bracha. We can rely on the Rebbe Hashem. Says Rabbi Hanan, the biggest klala is when a, somebody has a problem. Someone has a tzara. Klal Yisrael is in a difficult situation. We say, we have nothing to do. We have to rely on the Rebbe Hashem. That's a klala. It's a bizayin hatayra to say, all we could rely on is that Kaddish Baruch What do you mean all we could rely on is that Kaddish Baruch We have the Torah. We have a Gemara. We have Talmud Torah. All the bracha, all the protection, all the safety, all the security comes from Talmud Torah. To say, you know what the biggest klala of all? Bigger than chutzpah. Bigger than nevala. Bigger than zekenim yamnim nei The biggest klala in the history of Kal Yisrael is when we say, we, we don't know what to do. So according to Rechaim Lashner, it comes out very good. Why we have to add on to the Mishnayis another Raisa? Because Taka, the Mishnah, does not end on a good note. It ends on a, a note of a Klai. In the Gemara, you have the Gemara, so you don't have to add on the Raisa. But this is a very um, appropriate message as you're being Messiah, the Masechta, that you have this chus, not only uh, this chus of Limana Torah, but the greatest weapon against the Sahara and the greatest source of bracha for Klal Yisrael is that you don't need to say We have the protection of the Torah, which is It's a great covet to join you for a few minutes here at the Siyam. And the Shabbi Zoycha, Kishem Shasiyamta Masachta Zu, Shasiyamta Deshmaya, Lahaschil, Ulasayim, Svarim, Masachtois, Achirim, Lomoid Ulamid, Lishmar Velasois, Mazel Tov, Mazel Tov. Thank you. You've just experienced another Torah class brought to you by TorahAnytime.com.